Okay, so this is the second part of the vehicle system. And in the this video, I show you that how you can set up a playable vehicle with the full mesh. And this video, we are going to be learn how you can do with a separate with the modular pieces. More like the vehicle is rigged, but the wheels are separated in a static mesh. How you can set up this kind of like this thing. So to be honest, when I watched it the first time in a in a project uh, template, I was confused. Like, hey bro, how they they did it? They did so complex way. So let me show you the easiest way to set up it. The first thing, just make sure the open your wheel. This will never require the collisions because this is automatically going to be applied from your vehicle. So that's why. So just remove this collision. So wheel doesn't require collision when you are using this kind of like a modular pieces. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Now you have to go to your vehicle physics, kind of like this like your car tool like you can see this there's a no wheel at here okay you will be become with hey bro now what you'll do uh don't worry guys we have to go simply in a skeleton now in the skeleton you have the bone like this bone which is basically the required okay the visual thing doesn't require even if you don't have the mesh even also it's also going to be fine you just need the rig okay now you have to go to your physics body now in the physics body, if you come, maybe you see something like this blank, nothing here, bro. What you'll do, bro? You have to do basically click on settings, and here you find the show all bones. There you find all of your bones. Now choose your root, and here you have to just right mouse and create a body's construct constraint, and here choose that any of collisions you like. For now, let's choose the box. From here, just change it to single convex hull, regenerate it, and boom, you have basically your vehicle. Uh, physics now save it now you have to choose this your fl fr rl and rr right mouse click on create bodies and construct and then here create bodies with spare okay now here you find something like this 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 and this make sure they will be very small so you don't have to worry about anything okay the size is also perfect now click on save now once you have Go back to your vehicle BP that we have or set up in our latest video, last video, and then just choose now your car two, which is this one doesn't have any wheel. Now what you have to do is just go to your model and just here you find your wheel, drag and drop and connect and just drag and drop in your mesh. Make sure it sits under of your mesh, not in the main root body. Okay, so just choose this thing now. Double click and just duplicate it at last more like uh, four, uh, three more times and you find wheel wheel one wheel two and wheel three now you have to just select here you find here parent socket just connect with your fl then fr then this one with uh, rl and lastly the r r like this now you'll be see something like the wheel is basically rotated so doesn't uh, don't worry just set the rotation minus 180 it will become fixed okay so the best part is this thing now you are able to make the kind of like tire destroy system very easily so you can see we have the wheels that is going to be fake compile and save keep it everything how it was in our first video it doesn't require anything extra click on now play and you'll be see your vehicle is here now you are able to play with this vehicle see that is so simple i don't know sometimes uh, some project developer makes so complicated code that it's very hard to understand so that's why i try to make the easiest version as possible so don't forget to like and subscribe this video and that is the series complete of our vehicle system and we'll be moving something with the sounds and etc and we are here will be done and we'll be moving something else Thank you so much for watching and see you in next tutorial video. Bye bye.